And now, your selection. Meet the stars. Soviets performed a nuclear test yesterday, setting off a sudden... People were looking to feel good about something, and along we come. This one particular game, it came down to being about a lot more than a hockey game. This country was badly in need of something that could make us believe in ourselves. Perhaps the most inspirational sports story of this century, for them to win that game four to three, off the charts. For 23 years, I've been listening to people tell me what it did for them. And it never has anything to do with hockey. It always has to do with how they felt great. Russia's main weapon is intimidation. My goal is to beat them at their own game. Beat the best team in the world. Gold medalist in 64, 68, 72, 76. No matter what he does with the camera, if, if we're not overwhelmed by what this guy does. What attracted me to the material was the malaise that we were living in and how we were looking for something hopeful, unbeknownst to everyone. 20 kids will give us hope. The bottom line is that your young guys just kicked the crap out of Czechoslovakia. And this is something that this country is ready for. Uh, you want to see reporters? Win a couple of more games. Come on, go, boys, go, boys! Hustle! It started with Herb Brooks, Stop. the man with a dream. Feet on the side here, Jimmy! A guy with a really uh, specific plan and vision to revolutionize American hockey. And boom, 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 we're opening up options. Uh, I said to Gavin, I said, look, there's three ways I can do this. I can just be myself, go play a coach, and his name happens to be Herb Brooks, or I can sort of like, you know, do kind of a medium job, kind of go after it. So I said, well, which is something that can be fairly time consuming, which is I can go full on, 100%, go after playing Herb Brooks, being Herb Brooks. And he said, that's what I want. d Marker. I said, put your gear on. Fine, put your street clothes on, because I got no time for quitters. You want me to play, huh? Is that what you want? I want you to be a hockey player. I am a hockey player. You want me to play one leg, huh? That'll get him going. Get off. Oh, yeah. What a joy it was for him with Kurt. He delivers a performance that is staggering. You better think about something else, each and every one of you. When you pull on that jersey, you represent yourself and your teammates. And a name on the front is a hell of a lot more important than the one on the back. I didn't want to use body doubles, ever. I wanted cameras right in their faces while they're on the ice, and, and so the audience goes, wow, that's the kid that was up, that's the same guy. So now it has an authenticity and a realism to it because these kids are seriously talented hockey players. Let's get it on. It started with, hmm, can I teach actors to play hockey at the level I need? It's impossible. Or am I going to get hockey players and teach them how to act? It's really impressive what we're doing out there. The angles and the, the camera selections and the process. All the different things no one's ever seen before. And um, we're kind of breaking ground here. So what you're going to see on screen is really going to be something special. Listen to him. That's what you've done. We can beat these guys. When we get to the end of the film and we see flags and cheering, you understand why these people were so caught up in this story of these kids and this, this coach from Minnesota. There were some things sweet about this miracle and what it did, what it meant to this country. This isn't a hockey movie, you know? This is, this is why people are Americans. This is why they feel great about themselves.